Okay, so I was asked to show how this is done as far as getting fruits and vegetables into um, a very, very quickly uh, digestible worm food. So, here's how it starts. This is, this is a juicer. Um, it is a Brayville Juice Fountain Elite. Pretty, pretty good. Um, you know, there are more expensive juicers, but uh, this is a very good one. It goes through the stuff pretty quickly. So, crank this baby up. big huge basket of fruits and vegetables, mostly vegetables, into that pitcher there. And this is what the worms go crazy for. What comes out, which is the pulp. And I put the pulp into this container where it sits for up to a week and becomes that. See how moldy and amazing that is? And uh, it, when it fills up like that, I don't have very much space, so I put what doesn't fit in there in here. This is just two days old. That's cantaloupe there, and a fennel, and some other stuff. And it already is breaking down, so it, it breaks down very quickly. So there you have that portion of it. Okay, so here we go through another feeding. You just saw the juicer do its thing. Look at all the worms on top. They are mating, actually. A lot of them see this guy right here with that little swollen area. They're all getting caught in the act. All right, so you can see the, look at the lid, it has some more worms on it, and you see those white flecks are little pieces of eggshell, because I crunched up some eggshell in a little Pyrex bowl. So, get the lid out of the way, clear the first trench area, move worms, look at all those worms, look at them all. They're saying, where's my food? It was here a week ago, it's not there now. See that? They did, they did complete removal of all of that material from the last video to this. And here, we have the next batch and it is gross take a look at this mm -mm -mm. that's what happens to this stuff in a week you don't have mold on the lid so I hold my breath my daughter holds her breath and here we go yum ring the dinner bell Look at all that mold, mold and slime. So I'm feeding a real big amount in this corner. And uh, it's it's a choker. This is really stinky stuff, really stinky. So I get it down there, and then uh, I'll move this over. The stink will disappear very shortly. And then I work. Okay. 
So that's pretty much it. Take a look in there. You see, so there's there's a little bit of rotted grossness left in the bottom. I just go ahead and leave that in. It ends up being, uh, oops, okay, he got transferred back in from the tongs. Um, that ends up being kind of a starter. I think it gets the rotting process really going fast for the next batch of pulp that you saw the start of. So I'll take a little bit of this dirt and wipe that pulp off. Get it in there. All right, so we cover this last batch up. And these turbo worms have been fed for another week and they're going to have at it and uh, now I've got room in my countertop composter for more fruit pulp. So here we come full circle. After the juicing I emptied that container out, put it into this bag while I went downstairs, fed the worms, and that's empty except for the really gross stinky starter rot and so I open up this bag and dump it in. Alright and then I'll just mash that down a little bit to get some space. So I've already got this container half full and uh, I'll probably get another uh, several days of juicing pulp into that to fill it up and it will have a big huge hairy glob of mold over the top of it and be ready for the worms. There you go.